Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This video is going to be a lot different than what I used to post. For the first time in my channel, I am going to review a flight that I took in economy class. Let's take an experience of Air India after Tata takeover. Today's flight number is AI248, which will take me from Kathmandu to Calcutta and will take around 1 hour 45 minutes. We are flying on Airbus A320. It is a narrow body aircraft with 3-3 three, three configuration. After dropping my baggage at check-in counter and clearing immigration, I went straight for security check and then to the departure area. My flight was supposed to leave at 2.30 local time, but it was delayed by 30 minutes due to air traffic at Trivuvan International Airport. Given the situations of this airport, 30 minute delay was kind of on time as I have experience of being stuck at domestic terminal for more than an hour due to flight delays for several times. This was my first international flight and I was very nervous. Once we were ready for boarding, I went straight to the gate. Trivium International Airport doesn't have any jet bridge, so they perform fast boarding. Before entering the aircraft, one more security check was performed right in front of the aircraft. I have not seen the security check performed in other airlines besides Indian carrier. I was located a window seat but my row was not empty. Luckily, last row was completely empty and after informing cabin crew, I moved to the very last seat and got the whole row to myself. Outside, we spotted the first Airbus of Nepal Airlines that is A320 which is named Sagar Mata, local name for Mount Everest. The bird outside now is A320 of Himalayan Airlines. You can see ATR of Buddha Air taking its flight. You can also see an A320 of Air India which just landed from Delhi. Let's check the interior of this aircraft. You can also adjust the seat by clicking this button. We do not have any in-flight entertainment in this flight. The safety card and the air sickness bag were placed right in front. It's time to take off now, so let's sit back and enjoy it. Once we reached the cruising altitude, meal service was started. Air India is a full service carrier, which means your meal during the flight is included in the ticket. Let's see what we have got today in the meal. Since it was the day flight, we are provided with lunch. We had rice with chicken gravy and some veggies. For dessert, we have this brownie. This is chickpea chaat, some pickle and a yogurt. This cup is for tea coffee after the meal. We were also provided with the salt, paper, sugar and creamer along with the bottle of water. Now let's try the food. The lunch was really good as you can see from the empty tray. The tea coffee service was started right after the lunch. I enjoyed my tea after the delicious lunch. This is my first view of Calcutta and it's time to land. May we have your attention please, requesting all guests to kindly collect their check-in luggage from belt number 12. I repeat, belt This is the end of pleasant experience in Air India. After deboarding the plane, we went straight for immigration. I completed the immigration within 15 minutes as there was no much flight landing at that time. Here I am at Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose International Airport, Calcutta. This is where I'll be staying at for a few days, here at Calcutta. After resting for a while, uh, I feel very relaxed because the travel was very hectic, very tiring um, and from airport to the hotel was around 20 kilometer. 
so it's a long ride um now finally ordered my dinner and you know when you are in calcutta uh, you got to try the calcutta styled biryani so i've ordered biryani and and here's my dinner